So, for everybody, it's your boy Corey, KGQ Saint, back for another reaction video. You know, we kind of been to upload more videos last week. Once again, I just let you know I had some stuff going on. Most of the personal family I had a death in my family, a close relative of mine, I had a funeral on, on, on basically on Friday. Still, family still, you know, process get a little bit better. And we just need to take some time off, take a little break from everything, especially for all the shooting and stuff, death is going on. It just, it just, I just need to clear my head on a lot of stuff, especially with all this shooting and stuff, especially around those schools on babies, what's going on, elementary school, that, I don't lie, they nearly broke my heart while I saw those pictures of those kids getting killed, but in Texas, it nearly broke my heart when I, it, it broke my heart, they nearly, it broke my heart when I saw that, plus having a deal, death one of my close family members, like, it just I just need a break from break to clear my mind, clear my head a little bit. Anyway, I'm back now. Where this is basically, you know, early analysis, death battle, mad needle between the uh, come basically the upcoming uh, fight. I haven't picked a side yet because it's a lot to think about. I know Mad Needle definitely seems a lot is a lot stronger compared to comic books compared to how they don't know the cartoons and T V show portray. Especially I keep forgetting to do name for a cure. I did see the movie. I gotta rewatch them. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. I actually it, that movie was crazy. I gotta rewatch that movie just to refresh my memory. It's definitely a lot to think about. Anyway, it should be an interesting fight, but need to hear it. But let's go again to this Mad Needles. That bad. We'll get to the other guy later. Anyway, you are no special question. Y'all have a comment below. Let me let me know what you're at too. I'm trying to I'm gonna get back on this week. So I'm doing a lot better now. Anyway, let's get it. In the short duration of modern civilization, likely no conflict tested humanity more than the Second World War. In the primary Marvel 616 universe, this fact is no different, especially to the Eisenhart family and their only son. You may know him as Magnus, Eric, or Max, but if you ask him, he'd say his true name is Magneto. As a Jewish child in Nazi Germany, Magneto's early life was, well, extremely tragic. Yeah, that's the part of the movie definitely got got right. I remember reading the comments before the comic books before I saw the first S Man movie. So yeah, they got this part right. Is it born Jew? Especially during World War Two times. That's pretty much yeah, one of the toughest moments in life for the Jewish. Dramatic. Even after eventually escaping certain death with his future wife, misfortune always followed wherever he went. Thanks to his unexpected mutation called the X gene, the mark of a superhuman. After settling down in Russia with his new family, the KGB quickly found out about this quirk. So they burned his house down with his mm. own daughter inside. Naturally, he snapped and killed them all. That so anyway, the S Man Moo Apocalypse, yeah, I kind of figured they kept. I'm pretty sure that's where they got the inspiration from for the S-Man movie Apocalypse, but they didn't get to credit how his daughter died, but still. Anyway, that movie was just okay to me. I expected a lot more from Apocalypse. And I found a dude who played uh, Hojan, the, I keep I keep forgetting to pronounce his name, Hojan, the derision dude who helped save fan from Star Wars portray Apocalypse. So, yeah, you know, he did a character, but I just expect a lot more. Blame him. I'd do that too. Too bad his wife didn't get it and ditched him though. But that's when Magneto yeah. made a choice. Since humans hurt him his entire life, he'd do the same to them in the name of mutants everywhere. At first, Magneto turned to the telepathic powerhouse Charles Xavier and I know I'm pausing now, but I just want to cover Professor Ritz. Well, yeah, let's go get back to into I'm I'm gonna talk a little bit later after. And his fledgling team of heroes. But his new friend wasn't thrilled with the idea of uh subjugating the human race. So, Magneto formed his own team of mutants, the Brotherhood. Magneto can telekinetically move, bend, and reshape any metal he's aware of. Bullets, vehicles, buildings, you name it. Even himself when he manipulates his personal magnetic field for flight and energy barriers. Magnetic kinesis is far more versatile than it would appear at first glance. The blood in your body has iron in it. The air has traces of lead and mercury. Whole mountains are lined with metallic ore. The earth itself is surrounded by a literal magnetic field. Yeah, so many toys for metal Maggie to punch play with. Is laid you can detect deep magnetic in the earth. fields at such a huge range. Metal is everywhere in earth. Earth's magnetic rays while stranded on a planet in another galaxy. And guess what? He was able to use those rays to pull himself back 
to Earth in a single day. Oh, reminds me of that time I managed to pull a black hole towards the Earth for study. What? Yeah, to sue I don't you. remember that. Oh, don't worry. That Earth wasn't so great anyway. Let's move on. Come back in a few days to learn about Magneto. Opponent. Pretty cool video, so I kind of little had to little cut right there, but I just want to cover. Originally, Professor X and, and Man New had they had the same agenda. They want peace. In a way, they kind of want peace between the humans and mutants. When Professor X, he wants humans and mutants to coexist with each other. Man Neo believes humans and mutants need to be separated in order to achieve peace. So it's two different philosophies there. Especially what he's been through, you can see why he's like that. If he would have had a, sim a similar upbringing like Professor S, maybe his ideals would pretty much, pretty much remain the same. They would still stay together to this day, day and age in the comments. But because of what he went through, it's hard for him, you know, to fully trust humans. Yeah. Anyway, pretty cool video. We'll drop this video today. It's Thursday. It's Memorial Day for me. Well, yeah, Monday evening. So. I'm gonna render this react, render this out, and drop the schedule drop tomorrow. So stay tuned. I also, we'll react to another video, which it's just long overdue. And once again, I meant to do the video, but once again, like I said, I was doing some, going through some family problems. But anyway, I'm back now, I'm feeling a lot better. Anyway, let me know what you think of it. Who you think is going to win this fight? Stay tuned. Anyway, make sure you give a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a fantastic day. Peace.